What's up guys? Gear option here. How's it going? I'm gonna go over my Maxpedition Jumbo. This is a pretty cool bag. It's um, it's just you can use it for anything and I've outfitted it for an EDC slash uh, DSLR camera. So let's get started. Again, it's the jumbo bag. This is Maxpedition stuff. It's all it's you know not waterproof. Or water hits it, it rolls right off. It's thousand in near nylon. Really good stuff. Really well made, high quality stuff. Got the little clip here on this side. Got a regular Nalgene bottle. Got a uncinch it. Regular Nalgene. I, enjoy, I prefer these, you know, I've been using them for a while, I'm familiar with them. It's very similar to the guys who still use the old school canteens. They just, you grow like something, you don't really want to change it. Completely understand that. Got a climbing beaner, this is just, you know, for situations. And then, of course, in here, oh, that's not fun. I don't like that. That didn't work out well to my advantage. Recon 1. I didn't do anything in the pocket. It was just a little difficult to get out of there, but we're going to have to work on that. I think there's just like a little lip here, but anyways, cold steel, recon one, very good knife, done a review on this. Yes, I do carry this, um, never had to use it. It's not really a utility knife. This is more of a get out of dodge and save your, save your behind kind of knife. So in here I keep the the small little camera, HD camera that I'm using right now. Now I just keep that right on the chest. That's nice and accessible. Okay, in here, got a pair of gray headphones. I love these things. I've got two pairs. I'm gonna do a review on these as well. Uh, and again, they're just they're cool. They come in this little case and they're um, outfitted by Monster. So Dre and Monster did a little collaboration on the headphones and they're awesome. I have the travel set and then I, I'm a fan of the music so I've got the big ones as well. Little Altoids, I like the small box and these are the, um, the, uh, the good flavor. So the Simply Mint. Uh, and then a, uh, I, I thought this was pretty cool, Desert Tan Lighter Vic, so. You know, very cool. Put that back. That's the top pocket. Now the uh, concealed carry pocket, if you can see, is very cool. Um, you know, in here I just got some important documentation, which yeah, uh, just a right in the rain. And just a little guide for my camera. It's always nice to have. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, nothing else in there. Streamlight, stylus, very good light. The Nova, got this from Knife Center. Um, five LED bulbs. This light is awesome. You can either press it on or you can turn it and it stays on. So, very cool um, in this pocket. And I got to move pretty fast. Got lens. And the cool thing about this is the lens on the camera will actually fit in this pocket. Let's get into this up here. Got my zip drive for my pictures video to put on, you know, just to take off the memory card. I like how that fits, and it's really funny, everything fits in here just so perfectly and snug. Like, next thing, you know, I got my beanie, I got handkerchief, and then I've got my Rebel XSI with a 55 to 250 millimeter lens. And this camera's awesome. I love it. I've got my, you know, MP5 strap on it. No, I just, I enjoy this. When I go to, you know, other countries in Europe for travel, this I know is not going to get cut and ripped off my body. 
yeah, I do worry about that. I've heard about, you know, that happening to people, and that's not fun. So down in here, I've got another, I've got a bunch of these, I love them. County Com case, little hot hands. All my wires for my, you know, my phone, my iPod, my camera. I've got a little razor blade, screwdriver, a couple of pens, highlighter, and then a little cool um, screwdriver tool. And then in here, I've got the chargers for my two cameras. So a little organizer, just keep all that stuff together. And, you know, not only do I have the hot hands on there to keep me from the winter, but when I put this at the bottom of the bag, the camera actually sits on that. And, you know, that works well for me, so I'm not going to change it. Put that back, that like that. And, you know, it, it, it's, this is the big lens, but you can see that it's not going far. And very cool about this is, you know, I don't have one of those cool settings, sits, things to sit it in, but these work. And these are two things that I don't like to be caught without, so, and that just sits like that. This is the best part, finishing it up. In here, I check to see, nothing's in here. This is just a little extra pocket in case I pick stuff up along the way. But this is what I wanted to show everybody because I haven't seen, I've seen a lot of reviews on the jumbo and I haven't seen this. What fits in here perfectly? Well, no spec monkeys advent pouch fits in this pocket absolutely perfectly and this is awesome because this way I can transport necessity items from bag to bag depending on what I carry. And in here, I've got, I don't know if you can see, I've got pocket grappling hook, very cool. Sharpie, leather and wave, and I'm not gonna do a review on this because you guys, there are reviews out there on these, these tools, so just showing you my choice of carry. You know, a little bit of ad a leave, just in case someone needs it. Front pocket here, it's this little pocket, you don't really know what it's for. A uh, buddy of mine uses it for chapstick, uh, one uses it for lighter, I use it for band-aids. Band-aids, that's all you need in there. Anyone needs a band-aid, boom, right there. And then of course in here is the more intense, big sterile pads, um, like five or six of them, and then bandages, big bandages, and uh, it's always good to have for trauma, you know, if anyone gets a big cut or whatever. And then, you know, I like this case because it does, it, it all fits in here and then it just, it cinches together because of what it is, you know, and manages to stay pretty thin, so. And then, of course, in here, just got some extra funds. You know, I keep like a hundred bucks in twenties in there and that's, that. you know, every now and then I find myself using it, but rare um it's more or less emergency money and then in here just a little assortment of more pills benadryl and uh antihistamines of some sort so then you close this up and the last thing i have to show you i've got a little rando adventure uh survival card and then this is pretty cool uh i thought i lost my license so i went to the mva and had a new one made and i found the backup so here in the bag that I go traveling with. I carry a backup license just in case I lose my wallet. I've got one backed up. And from what I've been told, that's completely legal. You can have more than one ID. I mean, they don't expire unless they do expire on the expiration date, but they don't expire right when you lose them. So if you happen to refind it, it's still, you know, a good ID. So that is my DSLR digital a SLR camera bag for travel and again I, it's great I can open it up on my hip and just pull out the camera and take shots I got both lenses and yeah so that's my gear option and thank you guys for watching